Hey guys, so today I'm filming a review and a few on the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I know you guys have already seen a ton of reviews on these, but my opinion is a little bit different than the general consensus, which is why I still wanted to do a review on these. So just getting started, first I wanted to talk about the price and availability. Now these lipsticks retail for $32. Dollars. Now, this is absolutely the most expensive lipstick in my collection. I have never paid so much for a lipstick. Luckily for me, I was able to purchase this for 20% off during the Sephora VIB sale. Otherwise, I would not have purchased this. Now, as far as availability goes, you can find these lipsticks at Sephora, Barneys, and NARS.com. Now, moving on to the packaging. This is what the box looks like. Very simple, sleek black box that says NARS Audacious Lipstick. The color name is on the top, and then it just has the ingredients on the back. Now, for the actual packaging of the tube, this packaging is different than the traditional NARS packaging. It is not that rubbery material that attracts gunk. This is just a sleek black material, which I love. Also, it does have a magnetic closure, which most people love. And if you line up the magnets wrong, it will twist and lock back into its proper shape. And it just has NARS imprinted on the bottom in a glossy black lettering. Then on the bottom, it says the name of the lipstick. It tells you that it will be good for 12 months and it comes with 0.14 ounces of product. So another thing about this magnetic cap is that it is pretty strong. I have never had to worry about the cap coming off when this lipstick is rolling around in my purse, so that is another great thing. This magnetic packaging is really sturdy. Something else I wanted to point out about this lipstick is that it has NARS imprinted in the actual bullet. I'm not sure if you will be able to see it on my camera, but I think that it's a really nice touch. So now on to shades. There are 40 shades available in this lipstick, which is really impressive to have that extensive of a shade selection. All 40 of these lipsticks can be found on NARS.com. Now when it comes to Sephora and Barney's, some of them are at Sephora and some are at Barney's, but all of them are available on NARS.com. Check that description box down below. I will list all of the colors with their color descriptions and I will let you know at which store you can find them. So the shade that I have is what I'm wearing today. This is the shade Raquel. This is described on the website as a pinky beige. On my skin tone, I think this pulls more of a peachy beige, but I still really love it. I think this is a really flattering nude for my skin tone. So there are some other really popular colors that I wanted to mention, which would be Anita, which is described as an antique rose, and Anna, which is described as a smoky rose. So if you are wanting to try NARS Anna, which is really popular right now, but you didn't want to pay the $32, I would recommend you check out the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Lumiere. This is a dead on dupe for NARS Anna. So as far as the claims go, basically it only says that this is going to be fully opaque in one swipe and have a velvety satin finish and I would certainly agree with both of those claims. For scent and flavor, this lipstick has none. If anything, it has a light traditional makeup-y scent, but honestly, it's nothing that's gonna bother you. I'm really sensitive to scents, and this doesn't bother me whatsoever. For pigmentation, these are fully opaque in one swipe. I wanted to show you on my hand how easy that was. That was one swipe of a nude lipstick, and it is fully opaque. Most nudes, you have to go over them a couple times for full opacity, but not with these NARS lipsticks. They are fully opaque in one swipe. So for the texture and finish, these start off as a really creamy lipstick, but after about 30 minutes or so, they dry down to more of a satin finish, which I think is really nice. So for lasting power, these lasted on me four to five hours without eating or drinking, which I think is really quite impressive. But once I did get to that four hour mark, my lips did become quite dry and tight feeling. And I also noticed that it started to cling to the little dry patches on my lips, which I wasn't really a fan of. So I would recommend exfoliating your lips before you apply this lipstick. But I did want to mention that every single time I've worn this lipstick, it has drawn attention and kind of clung to the dry patches on my lips. So my overall rating of these lipsticks would be a 3.5 five out of five. Now, I think that these lipsticks are great, 
but I don't think that they are worth $32. I don't want to buy any more of the colors. So honestly, I would much rather prefer some of the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks or the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. These are drugstore lipsticks that are a fraction of the price, and I think that these perform just as well, if not better, than the NARS lipsticks. If it came down to I could only keep two of these three, I would pick my two drugstores over this one. I think it is a good lipstick. Do I think it is a great unbelievable the best lipstick formula out there no i don't i love this color i think it's beautiful i like the wear like i said my opinion is different from most of the general population most people are absolutely obsessed with these i'm not they're good not great so i would love to know your thoughts on these lipstick and a comment down below i hope you enjoyed this review please rate comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye guys